In this final video uh, for this section on viruses, we're going to learn a little bit about the HIV virus. You will have to draw no pictures about this, but you might have to answer some questions about it. Uh, we see that the HIV virus is a very fancy virus. It has all three components that we talked about earlier. It has a capsid. What's the capsid again? The protein coat. It has within the capsid genetic material. Uh, what form does it take for HIV? Two strands of RNA. And how many genes on those two strands? A whopping nine genes total. A total of nine genes. And also, uh, there are th within the capsid, there are three enzymes. We didn't see that with the bacteriophage. They are called reverse transcriptase, protease, and integrase. And finally, the third component is the envelope. We see it uh, uh, this represented here. What's the envelope again? A fatty membrane. How, all right, so how does HIV virus attack an immune system cell? It does it very simply by integrating its envelope with the uh, plasma membrane of the cell. How can it do that? Well, they're both fatty membranes. Uh, the envelope's a fatty membrane, and the cell, mem cell membrane or plasma membrane is a fatty membrane as well. Remember phospho what? Phospholipid. Okay. And so, after uh, integrating its envelope with the plasma membrane, the virus dumps its contents inside the cell that's, that it, it is a, attacking. The capsid uh, disintegrates, the uh, enzymes and the RNA are released, and then uh, each enzyme has a different job. The first job is by the reverse transcriptase. Remember that up here, reverse transcriptase? Well, that means reverse, it facilitates reverse transcription. What's transcription? We know all about transcription. That's when DNA is transcribed and becomes, or the copy becomes RNA, right? A copy of DNA gene, of a DNA gene, forms one messenger RNA molecule. DNA to RNA. That's the normal order, DNA to RNA. What's reverse transcription? RNA to DNA. And so, uh, what does the reverse transcriptase do? It synthesizes DNA from the viral RNA. It takes the viral RNA and reverses that. Does transcription reverse, produces DNA. Then what does that uh, viral DNA do? It enters the nucleus and the second enzyme, so to speak, integrase. That sounds like integrate. It does, it does integration. And uh, it uh, says here in the note 5, it splices viral DNA into the cell's DNA. So the viral DNA now becomes part of the cell's DNA. It's integrated with the cell's DNA with this enzyme uh, integrase. And so that's where it may stay for years and years and years and years. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, of course, this cell has multiplied. It's divided and divided and divided and divided by normal mitosis. And each time that happens, the uh, DNA is replicated, including the viral DNA, and so the viral DNA is multiplied as the cell replicates. Well, something may uh, trigger trigger um, the uh, viral DNA into action. When it does, it combines uh, with the protease enzyme, the viral DNA and the protease enzyme, start combined to start cranking out viral parts, viral components, which are put together to form a new virus particle. What becomes the envelope of the new viral particle? The cell membrane becomes the envelope for the new HIV particle. And so, that is how HIV virus does its horrific, horrible deed. All right, folks, that's it.